It may seem like it's game over, but the people of Hong Kong have shown in the past that they aren't easily cowed. Whatever happens next, journalist Mark Clifford believes the communist regime still has a fight on its hands. Do you think that incredible defiance and, and passion that we witnessed on the streets of Hong Kong has been beaten out of those protesters by the Communist Party? No, I think that sense of defiance is, is inside apartment buildings now and it's inside jails. As long as there is resistance, there's hope. It would defy history for a totalitarian state to indefinitely stay in power. And I think people in Hong Kong know that. In some good news for the young woman, Alexis, who was trying to get out of Hong Kong, well, she has been successful and is now safely in Britain. And that's our program for tonight. But before we go, a reminder to have your say about the show. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. To catch up on anything you've missed, head to Nine now. We'll be back next week with another edition of 60 Minutes. I'm Liam Bartlett. Good night.